Hey folks, this is Tobias. Uh, today I wanted to do a video to show a quick tip on how to get some uh, video clips out of DaVinci Resolve. A um, question came up the other day from a colleague of mine uh, who's working on an edit and uh, their client needed them to send individual clips uh, from their edit after they were done with their edit. And I'm not quite sure how to go about doing that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, just uh, Say you have your timeline here, so this is just a sample uh, video that I did a while back for a, a music client of mine. Um, so the important thing is is that when you're doing this task in your edit uh, screen, make sure that you have your in and out uh, covering your edit timeline, so where you have all these individual clips, because this is only going to work for that uh, master in and out for your timeline, right? Once you're there, uh, it's just as simple as going to your delivery page, uh, and in the output section set your settings accordingly that you want um, in my case I'm just gonna do mp4 here um, and you need to change this from single clip in the render settings here to individual clips right um, choose your location uh, do your, your file prefix that you want to do I'm just gonna do uh, yeah I'll just do this uh, for now just to make it quick and the other important thing that you need to look at is to go into your file tab here. Um, you are going to use custom name, right, because you have a custom name here that you added. Um, you can additionally add a file suffix if you want. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, unique file names and let DaVinci just go ahead and tag each file clip with um, an individual unique number. And I'm going to change this add a unique file name as suffix. Right, um, and you'll, I'll show you what this is going to look like when it's done here. Um, you have the option of putting it in a subfolder, which I highly recommend. So if you're doing your DaVinci project and you have it uh, all set up and do your proper folder structures, uh, I would recommend that you do something like uh, timeline edits or clip edits or timeline clips, something like that. Uh, that way it's really obvious uh, what it is. Um, you have the option of placing your clips into separate folders if you want to do that. I personally don't really recommend that because it's kind of redundant to what we're doing here. Um, and yeah, that's if, if you want to just get this quick and dirty and get it done, uh, just go ahead and do that. So you add that to the render queue and you'll see here uh, that it'll tell you how many clips it's going to render right here. So in my case I have 15 edits on my timeline and it's saying that I'm going to get 15 clips in my render. So when I render this out, I'm just going to let this go ahead. It'll be pretty quick. It'll be about a minute. Um, what it's going to do is I'm, I'm going to bring this other window here. Uh, it's going to create a subfolder for me that I said timeline clips and inside that subfolder it's creating the individual edits that I did on my timeline um, with the prefix which is my main video name and then what version it is and then the clip number so I have the 001 or 0001 2 3 4 5 and this these are the individual edits on my clip and it'll go through the entire timeline and do that for me um, so you can see that that works the other method here I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this so we don't have to sit here and wait for it uh, the other method that you could do is like say you have uh, you know whatever job you're working on uh, the client says hey I need uh, I don't, say you have it broken up into sections of your video and they say hey you know what I need the middle section of that video can you send it over to me um, you can go right here in the delivery page and say you know what I need this right here like this section maybe that uh, and I'm just shift clicking those uh, to do that and I'm gonna right click on that and say render this clip and what that's gonna do is it's gonna update my my marker right my in and out marker and say okay this is the section that I want here uh, and then I can go here uh, and when it says individual clips, it's going to read this as a single clip, this little section I have here. And I can go, I would recommend changing the name as well. I would say, you know, something like um, middle section, you know, whatever it is that, you know, you need to put there, um, make it make sense for you, please. Um, and you add that to your render queue. And you can see that it's going to be one clip. What that clip is going to be is this, just this section here. So I'll render that out real quick. Um, and you can see it's going much much faster and it's just that range right there so when I come here you can see I have the clip that I was asked for and it's 19 seconds long or whatever and it's just that middle section right so you can you can play that and mine plays on a different window so hold on a second I'll bring it in for you uh, so you can see that it's just playing that middle section right 
uh, and that's great. So that's you can get your individual clips out for your entire uh, timeline that way if you wish, uh, or do uh, you know specific sections that you want. Now I will caution you um, when you do this, if you then need to go back and say, oh, I need to render out you know a different set of clips. Um, what I would recommend you do is go back to your edit page because you can see we changed our in and out here and just make sure you reset your markers uh, to what you need uh, and then go back in your delivery page if you want and that way you have access to all the individual clips or again you can say you know I just need this end section here and right click render this clip change your you know your file uh, name if you want, you know, end section or whatever, you, whatever it is that you're doing, make it make sense for you, uh, and you know, folders and so forth. But that is the general workflow to do that. Just quick and dirty, getting your clips out, um, and I hope that helps. All right, see you next time, folks.